Hey, Julian. So um, I heard you had some troubles, and I, you know, I think part of it. I'm sorry. You know, it's been this back and forth about, you know, um, trying to get you the right version of all the the picture stuff. I think that might have been part of what messed you up. But I I want to just walk, back us up to a, a working version here and and um, talk with you about the um, uh, the the constructor because I want to make sure that you're clear on on how those things work. So one thing I wanted to do though is before we do anything else is let's just get rid of this picture class, okay? Because we have the animation class that's the one that we're working off of. So let's remove that. Just, just to make things a little neater, I'm going to clean this up a little bit here. And, okay. So, um, yeah, so I, this is a version that compiles, and I'll just show you what it does at this point. It says new animation, and if you say draw, It'll draw the little square there. Okay, so um, I was looking at your uh, constructor, the constructor stuff that you're doing with Canvas, and um, let's see if I can. So. This is kind of weird because you're, you're constructing inside of a constructor. If you the, the way to do this um, to um, uh, call this this bigger constructor from this one is to use the this keyword, um, and I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. Let me put it in here. So. Um, so this is the one I'm, I'm sending you, and it's actually a little bit, it's a version 1.6, it's a little newer, so. Um, so we have this construct, constructor right here, right? We want to, so you got the idea, we want to, to make a constructor, you, you, so we're going to make it public so that we can access it, so we can um, access it and stick it into the, the that object. Uh, what do they call it? The object tray or whatever it is. But anyway, that area. And then um, we call it canvas. Okay, so um, the way you create a constructor is public or whatever. It doesn't have a return type. It has exactly the same name as the class, right? So then we, um, you know, open and close. Otherwise, it looks like a method, right? So now you want um, to set default values here. So the way you do that is there's this uh, keyword called this, right? And basically, what that does is um, you want to inside your this you want to make your call. I'm just going to copy all this stuff you have in here. So everything that you're going to do to make a new canvas, copy and paste. You put that into your. Um, into this, so this represents the the um, basically it's saying use the constructor for this class that takes arguments that look like this. So we have to so as soon as you see the this in parentheses and the set of of um, arguments, then that's saying okay now look elsewhere for another constructor that needs a string and an int and another int and a color and that's right here okay so when you what what this is doing is this is saying not call you know all the stuff that goes on in this constructor and then I so say you also had uh, 
new canvas set visible true, well, I can just set myself visible. Set visible uh, true. Uh, okay. So let's compile it and let's make sure. So now we have our new canvas guy. You can stick the canvas on there and then you can do your um, experimenting with other stuff like we talked about it in the video. Okay, so I hope that helps. I'm sorry again if I, um, you know, messed up what you were working on. Um, I'm de I'll definitely take that into account when I'm, I'm uh, you know, um, evaluating your, your work on this. But um, just keep at it. And, and if you still have questions, go ahead and get back to me, and we'll we'll uh, we'll get through this. All right. So um, good luck, and, and let me know if you have any more questions.